Alright guys, welcome back. So, we just unlocked Extreme Prime Warden's Argent Adept. So, of course, we're going to be bringing him along to our next variant unlocked, which is going to be, we're going after Extreme Prime Warden's Captain Cosmic. So, the, uh, the requirements for Cosmic are to take him to the Enclave of the Endlings, and then he must get 10 constructs into play, and then through his own effects or damage he de personally deals, must then destroy 10 or more constructs. So essentially, uh, doing a Green Lantern Nova kind of thing. Alright, so um, this time we are not going to take a full team of 5, but we are going to go back to our favorite punching bag. Um, yeah, where are you? Get, get over here, Gloomweaver. So we'll take two more heroes with us. Um, so we want to give him extra plays to get those constructs out, which is why we're bringing uh, Arjun Adept. Yes, uh, he he has to play. Though I don't know how put into play effects interact with that. I'm not sure if they actually count or not. I I think he has to actually be given the card play to play them. I don't think if he like flips his top card into play that counts. Like, say, if um, Slim, uh, Slimatra pl uh, throws a Construct into play off the top of his deck, I don't think that counts. Or, like, if I were to have Omnitron X uh, flip his top card. So, let's see. Um, we don't really have a lot of ways to give him extra plays other than through Argent Adept. So instead, we'll we'll bring some we'll bring some crowd control with Haka, and yeah, I think a three-man team should do it. All right, let's go. All right, so here come the zombies. And even more zombies. That's fine. It's only a three-man team, so Gloomweaver's damage is essentially nothing. So, let's lead off with Cosmic Weapon, and we'll give that to Cosmic. And then, top card, and we'll put that into play and give it to Haka. Because the zombies are going to be punching Haka, and the wounding buffer is going to be blasting them back. Uh, it's Cadence. Alright, so we'll take, I guess, that to hand, that on top, bottom, trash, and Cadence Chain! Silver Shadow to hand. Um, hmm. Yeah, Conjure to top, Sonata to the bottom, and Trash the drum. Because I can always re uh, reclaim the drum with... Alright. Zap Cosmic. Cosmic's going to throw out his Cosmic Crest. And then he's going to use his power to reveal the next card of his deck, which is an Autonomous Blade. Let's put that on the Wounding Buffer, because that's going to be silly... Since when the Wounding Buffer does something, or reacts, it's going to cause the uh, the Autonomous Blade to also act. And then I play Tomoko and completely nullify every plan that I just had. <laughs> I'm good at this game. <laughs> Alright, let's start punching out zombies. Okay, so that gets rid of all the remaining zombies, so the whole plan doesn't even work anyway. Now let's get rid of this guy. I need to get rid of him before he blows up all of my constructs. Okay, so Siphon on Cosmic... Well, I put the Wounding Buffer on Haka, not on Captain Cosmic, because I plan on having Cosmic getting uh, punched with the 
effect. All right, buffer and cosmic crest. Hey, there's my construct cataclysm. Once I get ten, that'll clear them all out nice and quick. Okay. Um. So let's conjure from the deck. Get Telemon's Lyra. So I've got three, four, five. So five constructs in play right now. So let's keep zapping Cosmic. Um, I guess Harsh Offensive. And deal a grand total of zero damage. That, that's actually fine. Because that means that it's much more likely for him to flip Construct now. Yep, there's another Autonomous Blade. Put that right on the Wounding Buffer. Get Savage Mana out there. So, let's crush on Venox. Zap Venox once again, and again. So that way, when he hits Haka, that will cause the Wounding Buffer's counterattack to get rid of him. Second lowest, so... first. Well, first we have to do Venox, so Crimson Pin, Gloomweaver, and then Haka. Wounding Buffer reacts, kills Venox, and then let's go ahead and Autonomous Blade, Skrizim, or Zareem. Then we'll tag... Oh, it's energy damage, so it doesn't matter! Skrizim Zre can't actually hurt the Constructs because of Cosmic Crest. So I don't actually want to play a card, but I will still fabricate, try and get more constructs into play. Put that to hand. Alright, get out the next, and... The beatings will continue until the constructs are in play. that in play. I mean, Haka can always use a better base power. Okay, now... Um, just throw out Mary. Might as well. Then, Cosmic Weapon to deal damage to... Um... That's irreducible. That's also irreducible, so it doesn't matter. Uh, just hit the crimson pin with less health. All right, and keep hitting pins. All the terminarch. It doesn't matter. They're immune. Hey, Slamara! Strength of the Grave, okay. Augmented Ally, they even better. Um, give that to Argent Adept. Rhapsody of Vigor is good. Enduring Intercession is uh, potentially horribly dangerous. And there's the Grimoire, okay. Alright, so we're at 1, 2, 3, 4... Five, six, seven, eight constructs. I need two more constructs. Alright, but we need to get rid of the Grimoire before it becomes too much of a problem. Right, sure, let's put that in play. Um, get rid of the pipes. And keep hitting Cosmic. Oh, I have to play a card. So we will play Potent Disruption. 
Let's destroy... Um, actually. So that would be number... That would make number nine. Okay, this can work. Alright, get rid of Cosmic Crest. Destructive response first. We will response on... Siphon. Which lets me use a power. So I will use base power. Um, yeah, sure. We'll get that in play, because free unplugging animation. Second hit will be on the Grimoire. Third hit will be on Gloomweaver. Um, yes. Get back the Cosmic Crest. Uh, Potent Disruption, then we'll let you do five damage to Grimoire. Uh, and then use... Cosmic Weapon. So now I've got nine Constructs played. Alright, now let's... Um, hmm. So let's Vernal Sonata. And then choose for me... We will put Dynamic Siphon on top, Cadence on top, and Haka doesn't have anything to put on top because he doesn't have any cards in his discard pile. Uh, so Lyra for some Dominant on... Ooh. Um, let's give it to... Argent Adept, so he can Silver Shadow, Dissonant, uh, pitch you, and uh, you, draw three cards, trying to get to a, trying to dig down to a rhythm here, which of course I didn't get, so we're gonna, <laughs> Cadence, really, no rhythms? Alright, sure, uh, Sonata to hand, uh, Conjuration on top? Yeah. Jero on the bottom, pitch the horns, and then out comes the harp. Alright, throw out Punish the Weak. And that will let me deal four damage to Srazim. And it's the because it's the constructs that are dealing the damage, they're not affected by Punish the Weak. Actually, I should... Yeah, I have to hit Srazim because of Punish the Weak. Alright, so... Does nothing because of Cosmic Crest. Bosto! Uh-oh, there's a zombie. Siphon, that is number... See, that's the thing is, I'm not sure if that's number 9 or not. Well, I'll have him play another one. Um, second highest, we'll have it be Haka! So that the wounding buffers can react and allow me to get rid of this stupid grimoire. Almost. Alright, um, so that would be... I could discard one card to make it two damage, have Haka take the damage first, and then the Wounding Buffer would clear the Grimoire. Yeah, I think that works. Alright, so... What do I want to have discard? We'll have Argent Adept discard a card, because he's got a million cards in hand. So let's get rid of this bell. Skip. Oh, actually, I could have... I could do a lot of stuff, actually. Alright, let's actually... Top card, put that into play, put it on Argent Adept, um, and then we will have the Siphon on Argent Adept take a hit, which will let him... Um, oh, I finally got a Rhythm in play. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, let's... Give... We'll give Arch and Adept the play to play Vernal Sonata. So Vitality Conduit's coming back from Unflagging Animation, so we'll put Sustained Influence on top, and Arcane Cadence. Um, then, for the company, we will just plink Strazim off the board. Now finally, Haka will take his one damage, Wounding Buffer reacts, hits Gloom Reaver for two, and then the Autonomous Blades will kill the Grimoire, stopping its effect. And it's a good thing I did that, because now Profane Zealot's here, and that thing is obnoxious. Um, Alright, so confirm on Haka. Uh, no, because now... So now I have my ten constructs in play, so now we're going to construct Cataclysm. Uh, first things first, we get rid of the Cosmic Crest. Profane Zella can take effect first. Then we will deal... Oh, I can't deal any damage to Gloomweaver. Um, though, what I can do is I can plink... Uh, so what we'll do is we'll plink Argent Adept's Dynamic Siphon first. That will let him use a power. So we will harp to get a play... Um, who do I want to give that play to? I think I just give it to... Yeah, we'll give it to Argent Adept. First Subdominant. Then we will activate the first Subdominant to Lyra. Lyra will activate Dissonant. Dissonant will destroy Harp, which will destroy... Profane Zealot, get him off the board. Gives him another zombie, which is fine, because Haka can clear those on his turn. Um, then we will Syncopated Onslaught, Plink Gloomweaver for one, because screw you, Gloomweaver. Uh, second hit will ping Cosmic Siphon to use his. Um, we'll deal three damage to Gloomweaver. Or I could clear a zombie servant. No, we'll, we'll Gloomweaver. I want to put the zombies under savage mana. Third hit to Gloomweaver. And then... Oh, I could have hit the... Third hit, I could have hit the Vitality Conduit on Haka and give him a little bit of health, but it doesn't matter. Order doesn't matter anymore for the uh, Constructs. So I can now deal 11 irreducible energy damage to a single target, or uh, deal 3 damage to everybody. I think 11 damage is the play. So, Gloomweaver's going to take some damage, and then play base power. Oh well. Alright, so Conjure, the Harp from the Trash. And then Lyra for Subdominant on Argent Adept into Cadence. All right, so we've met the requirements for uh, Prime Warden's Captain Cosmic. Now I just need to win the game. So let's put Prep to Hand, um, Sarbande on top so I can start breaking those. Uh, Zero on the bottom, trash the other Sarabande, and then... So, let's ping Gloomweaver for one. Play Inventive Prep. And now I get to play another card. Um... Do I want ha What does Haka have? 
Haka doesn't have anything really relevant, so we'll have Captain Cosmic play Potent Disruption. I mean, I could have Haka play as Haka's, but I don't really need... Wow. Oh, wait, that's right. Potent Disruption is the one that blows up a construct, not the mill one. Thought it was... I got confused with Harsh Offensive. Whoops. That's fine. Alright, so... Uh, well, Haka of Restoration. Draw some cards. I can pitch both of these. Stop. And then... Mere on a zombie servant because of... And because of Punish the Weak. Yes, it has the lowest HP. I get to, I get to eat it under Savage Mana. And Immutus shows up. Oh. Uh, Alright, it's fine. Actually, no, Immutus is perfectly fine, because that gives us plenty of time to rebuild. Just Immutus redirects the damage. Oof. There's a Cursed Acolyte, so that's good. Alright, so let's get a Siphon back out and throw that on a Cosmic. Nope, we are keeping that in play. Yeah, yeah. Uh, skip, flip, put that in play, and we'll give it to Arjun Adept. So Mutus has one more turn of tanking for us, which is nice. So I think that means I'm going to Vernal Sonata. Alright, so let's go ahead and give Cosmic back his sustained influence. Um, take an Arcane Cadence back. And... Haka doesn't really want anything back. So I can't use Rebel Yell because Immutus is just going to soak it. So instead, we will... Telemon's Lyra for Subdominant to give... Oh, Haka's not gonna... Uh, give Cosmic the play. Put out Vitality Conduit. On Haka. Oh, that was dumb. Uh, no, I should be having Argent Adept play a card. And we will get from the trash Drake's Pipes. And then now I will let uh, Cosmic play a card, and he will play his Vitality Conduit. And put it on Haka. There we go. Alright, proper sequencing. Um, I guess Haka's shielding. Oh, it's just going to get wasted by the Crimson Pin. Ugh. That's fine. We're fine. Know what I'm doing. Alright, stop. Actually, no, it's not, because the Crimson Pin is going to go to um, Immutus. So, we are fine. And I will deal one damage to Immutus in order to draw an extra card. Alright, Corruption. Oof, it's getting a little dangerous. Alright, 
so let's get Cadence on top. Cosmic will take... Um, I guess Destructive Response? Oh, he already has a Destructive Response in play. So Harsh Offensive, sure. Haka will not bother putting anything on top because he already has everything he wants in play. Oh, no! Oh, Demutus. Alright, looks like Immutus is getting... Um... Alright, so we will... During intercession... Alright, so now, let's see here, so all of the constructs are going to, we're going to soak all of the damage from Corruption to Haka. I need to see what I have left afterwards. Alright, so Mutus has three health remaining, and so if I... Which means I can have the zombies kill themselves. So we'll have Gloomweaver get redirected to Immutus. Um, the Crimson Pin get redirected to Immutus. And then Cursed Acolyte redirect to Immutus. And then Corruption is going to hit all the remaining ones. Ah, Strength of the Grave. Forgot. It's fine, though. Alright, so it doesn't matter. Order here. Um, it's intercession... Okay. Well, that wasn't too terrible. And then Profane Zealot shows up. Oh, this is about to get really scary. Okay. So, we have things to do. Um, Cosmic's powers are currently... Just the Crest and his base power... So, I can hit Crest first, then Autonomous, or actually Vitality Conduit, give Haka some health, then the Dynamic Siphon. First Siphon will have Cosmic use his base power to fabricate a Harsh Offensive, and deal two damage, one damage. So, I need to get rid of Profane Zealot. So, I need to focus on him. Then we will Cosmic Crest to heal the Crest, the Siphon, and the Conduit. And the rest of the damage doesn't really matter. Alright, um, so that's two, three, four, five... Um, I'll have Haka take the hit, because that way Arjun Adepts will also take five. Everybody's taking five. Okay! Um, alright. So now, let's Dynamic Siphon into play. Put that on Arjun Adepts. No, we need to keep that out. So, Conservation of Energy, we are going to... Yeah, apparently, um, Gloomweaver is just on the rampage today. Alright, so we're going to blow up Cosmic Crest. Uh, oh, stupid Profane Zealot. No, wait, no, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. Alright, um, we will let Unflagging Animation trigger first. Uh, plink the Siphon on Argent Adept. We'll let him use a power, so now we need to Moose Ragani's Harp. So first action is going to be Subdominance to let um, it's gonna be 
two damage off. No, it's going to be less than that because of Punish the Weak. I can still give Haka a play to Vitality Surge. Yeah, that seems like the play. All right. So Haka will Vitality Surge. I would need to draw a Rampage first. That's the problem. I haven't drawn one yet. All right, so now we're going to Subdominance to Lyra. Ly and then we're going to do the same thing we did last time. We're going to Dissonance away the Harp to blow up the Profane Zealot. That's going to get the last one of the... Oh, they're all out. Okay. Um, and then we're going to give another play to Haka for Vitality Surge. Rampage! Dominion. Well, Dominion's not bad. Alright, so second hit is going to be the Siphon on Cosmic. We'll let him use his base power. Uh, huh. Yeah, all right. Put that into play on Haka. Then the third hit. Is on the Vitality Conduit on Haka, so that he gains some health back. Yes, I want to destroy Sustained Influence to get Cosmic Crest back into play. Um, then I will pop the Wounding Buffer. No. And that will be it. We're going to draw a bunch of cards. And then activate the Cosmic Crest to heal, Siphon, Conduit, and Siphon. All right, now. Let's see. All right, let's put Supertonic on top, Dissonant on the bottom, Trash, and out goes the next one. Um, flare to hand, Cadence to top. Supertonic to the bottom, trash the extra supertonic, chain the last one. Cadence to hand. Jero uh, to top, supertonic to bottom, trash dissonance. Okay, so now I don't have a supertonic in play. That's actually kind of bad. I don't. Why don't I have Sarbande in play? All right. Um, hmm. All right. So we're just going to poke the Haka. Uh, Autonomous Blades will go after Gloomweaver. Haka will Haka a battle to try and draw into a rampage, please, please. No, no, of course not. All right. Um, let's discard the extra Tomoko, and that's it. He does get plus one damage, so let's Mere and tag a zombie servant. Yes, it is the lowest health. Yes, we would like to eat it. Man, still... Do I already... Oh, I already have a Taiha in play. Neat! Alright, Dominion! Taiha on Zombie Servant. 
Yes, it is the lowest health. Yes, put it under Savage Mana. And that is number five. Okay, all the zombie servants are down. <laughs> Which means we no longer have to worry about the Chosen Disciples going nuts. When does this thing blow itself up? Oh, Jansa has to be in play. Well, that's awkward. Uh, we'll give it to Arch and Adept, sure. There's my Super Tonic. Okay. I should really get rid of the second Enduring Intercession. <laughs> So that I don't have to be prompted for this each time. But they're all hitting themselves because corruption, yay! And now Hawk is taking a bunch of damage. Oh, there's Jansa! Oh, there's still one zombie left. And another Cursed Acolyte. Okay. Um, so... I do have Cosmic Crest in play. Good. Alright, so first we'll hit the Vitality Conduits. Um, then we will hit... Argent Adept Siphon. And that will let that will let me Lyra into Super Tonic into Argent Adept using base power. I don't need to be doing this. Um, that's fine. Actually, I can ground pound here. Um, that seems like the play, actually. Yes, let's pitch two cards. Let's pitch this extra Dominion and this ha extra Tayaha. Um, and then I will Tayaha. Let's get rid of this last zombie servant. Put it under Savage Mana. And Chosen Disciple. Yes. Choose for me. Yes, under the Savage Mana you go. And have Haka play a Elbow Smash. To get rid of this stupid Chosen Disciple. Yes. Okay, now that we've gotten some control back in this game, um, Energy Bracer on Haka. Nope. Uh, and then Dynamic Siphon on Haka. And Base Power in play on Haka. Haka is just going to tank everything forever. All right, let's get another instrument out. I don't know why I didn't grab the harp. Stop asking questions. I have a vague idea of knowing what I'm doing. All right, um, and I still haven't played Sarabande, so I can't kill Jansa. But I can heal, which is what I'm going to do.
Okay, he does not have a winning buffer on him, which means that I am going to tag Argent Adept's Dynamic Siphon. Hey, Gloom Weaver. To scream at Haka for a bit. Oh, right. All the energy bracers are meaning that was a complete waste of time. I'm paying attention to the things that I'm doing. Really, really I am. Uh, that's Cosmic Crest. Um, I'll blow up the bell. Sure. I don't need the bell right now. Oh, why did I do that? He can't take any damn. I. <sighs> Ire smart. Alright, under the savage mana you go. So. Alright, lowest health right now is friend tats. So. yeah. Let's just marry it. I'm gonna hit it for two because of Jansa. I'd like to believe that there is a rampage in this deck. Oh, there it is. Finally. Hey, Frazat. Alright. Everybody's going to be dealing damage. All of it's going to get redirected to Haka. Alright. Keyboard shortcuts. They're a wonderful thing. I should really use them more often. There's the Pouch of Bones. Um, put that on Argent Adept, sure. Silver Shadow. Oh, okay, that changes things a bit. Um, so yeah, we will Silver Shadow to give Haka a play and Rampage. Alright, so now we need to order... So, Frentad is the lowest, so he's first. Yes, put that under Savage Mana and draw a card. <laughs> oh! Oh, Revenge is going to be sweet. All right, so let's get rid of Cursed Acolytes. Choose for me. Yes. All right, Crimson Pin. Yes, it has the lowest HP. Yes, I would like to put it under Savage Mana. Uh, Sable Pin. Yes, it has the lowest HP. Yes, I would like to put it under Savage Mana. Frazat! Choose for me. Under Savage Mana. Draw a card. And then Frazat plays... Blagoo! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Alright, rest of the order doesn't matter. Bosto has the lowest HP, sure. Okay, um, let's pick a top card. Sure, put that out there. Give it to Argent Adept. Haka then gets another card, so or gets another play, so let's Tayaha. Tayaha to clear out Bosto? Yes! Get all of the targets. Um, then Slamara has the next lowest? Yes. So Slamara. Now Arjunadep gets <laughs> two stuff. Oh, things are happening. What is going on anymore? Um, ooh, do I want to... Hmm. Well, I can Drake's Pipes to heal and deal some damage. 
Um, or I can Lyra to emulate my power. Yeah, we'll we'll Lyra. Um, so let's use power on Haka, who will then use Mere to get rid of Slamara. Choose for me. Yes. And then we will let Haka play his second Rampage. Oh, geez. Construct math and song math. I probably should have ordered this Rampage, but I'm not backing up. Alright, so let's Cosmic Crest to heal Siphon. Siphon and Cosmic Weapon. Haka gets another activation, so we'll use base power to crush on Corruption, who is lowest health currently. Argent Adept gets another activation. So pipes for healing. Cosmic. Adept. I am not making this game easy on myself. <laughs> um, and then... Jero, let's plink off the pouch of bones twice. Sure. Oh, I could have killed corruption. Oh well. Oh jeez, I'm still doing stuff! <laughs> Alright, well, let's see. Um, I have reshuffled my deck, so sure, let's play a card. Let's play Arcane Cadence. Okay. Um, I guess I'll put Sonata to hand, because that seems like a good card to put on to hand. Sonata on top, Conjuration on the bottom, Trash the Drum, and play the next Cadence. Alright, uh, Conjuration to hand, Conjuration on top, Harp on the bottom, Trash the Horn, and Sonata. So let's just heal back all of that damage that Rampage just did. Well, most of it anyway. Um, Cosmic will take back Sustained Influence. Adept's not going to bother taking anything back. Haka will take back a Rampage. And now we have... I really need to get rid of this extra Enduring in Intercession. I keep saying I'm going to do it, but there's no real... I haven't had a good opportunity to yet. HP will be the Energy Bracer. Be a good Blagoo. Uh oh. And the Grimoire's back. Lovely. Well. Oh, gross. Okay, well, actually, hang on. The Pouch of Bones is in play. Got two Profane Zealots. How many? Fifteen? Alright, alright, no, this is fine. Um, we're gonna win now. So, Augmented Ally on Argent Adept. 
Nope, still not going to destroy it. And then throw out the other augmented ally again on Argent Adept. Um, what's sort of my last card? Sure, let's put that in play. Yes, I would like to draw a card. Okay, so let's discard this Jero to... Oh, I don't have the... I thought I had two harps. Um, no, that's fine. So, actually, we're going to pipes for Rhapsody. Heal, heal, heal. Uh, heal and heal and then zero I can't do any damage to anything well I can hit my own stuff so let's tag cosmic siphon fabricate augmented ally into play sure Put it on Haka, because why not? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, and then the second one, we will hit the Siphon on... No, no, we'll hit the other... We'll hit Siphon on Cosmic again. Actually, no, I'm going to hit the one on Haka. There's one on Haka. Um, there it is. That lets Haka use a power... So I can have Haka, um, let me see here, yeah, so we'll have Haka use Savage Mana, Oh wow, uh, I forgot, it's twice as much damage, so we're just going to whack Gloomweaver. I was planning on using it to blow up the Pouch of Bones, and then I'm like, oh wait, no, we'll just... Because then I was going to use Citizen Dissonant to blow up the Drum of Despair and the Grimoire of Curses and Relic Victory, but um, I think just germing it is the better play. So... Now, let me see here... I have, I have a potent disruption. I don't have a con. I need a construct cataclysm. Construct cataclysm would just win me the game right here. Uh, all is on Argent Adept again. Two. Okay. All right. Let's discard. Syncopated Onslaught to Lyra for a power to Haka. Oh, he has both of it. Excellent. Okay. So Taiha on Corruption. Um, oh, looks like the Profane Zealots are the lowest. Then we'll have Haka play a Rampage. So, first the Zealot on three. Oh no! Oh no! I forgot about the pouch of bones. Oh, mistakes were made.
<laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, then. Zombie Servant. Yes. Oh, yeah. Pouch of Bones gives it an extra DR1, doesn't it? Okay. So now, Groom is the lowest? Yes. So, Order doesn't matter since that's not going to clear Groom. Conduit. Uh, you know what? I, I don't care about order right now. Too much stuff is going on. I'm finally going to get rid of this stupid thing. Oh, I still have base power. Um, oh, three damage. Okay, uh, let's hit Groom. Or actually, no, I'm just going to hit Gloomweaver. I'm just going to damage him. Oh my gosh, th that was all to my start of turn phase. <laughs> what am I even doing? Okay, so if I... Silver... Silver Shadow... I can have Haka play his second Rampage, and I think that will actually let me clear out enough. Alright, so... Choose for me, put under Savage, draw a card... Erdid is the next one. Yes, draw a card. And then Order doesn't... Well, no, Blagoo. Put Blagoo under Savage Mana. And this will give Haka enough damage to clear out Gloomweaver. Assuming I don't have enough powers left to just kill him right now. Um, oh, I've got two powers left, so yeah. And down goes Cleaver, finally. We did it! Yay! <laughs> okay, so we now have Extreme Prime Warden's Captain Cosmic, who makes himself and all of his constructs deal damage to a single target. So he's very good for DPSing down a single guy and does wonders with buffs like such as with uh, Legacy's Inspiring Presence or Galvanize. So that's it for this video. Uh, I need to take another break after all of that. So stay tuned, guys. I'll be right back.